afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Miss Brienne, and welcome back to Book Talk Wednesdays with Miss Brienne. Every week I discuss a couple of graphic novels or easy readers that the library has to offer in the hopes that we encourage you to visit us and check out these awesome books. This week's talk features two books based on a, the unusual friendship between a boy and a fly, and it is the Fly Guy series. The first book that I will discuss is called Hi Fly Guy, and the second book that I will talk about is called Shoe Fly Guy. The series is written and illustrated by Ted Arnold and is published by the Cartwheel Books Division of Scholastic Inc. Now the series focuses on a very smart fly named Fly Guy, which, who was named by the boy who adopted him as a pet. Fly Guy gets to all sorts of adventures throughout the series. In the first book, Hi Fly Guy, the paths of a boy and a fly come together suddenly. The fly was only flying around to look for food, and the boy was searching for a pet to enter in the annual pet contest. When the two meet, Buzz, the boy's name, captures the fly and takes him home. Now Buzz believes that the fly is very smart because the fly calls him Buzz. Which in reality, as you know, that's all the fly can say. With that, the boy decides to keep him as a pet and name him Fly Guy. And it seems like they have a lot of fun. However, when the day of the pet show actually happens, the judges insist that Fly Guy is not a real pet. Will Fly Guy be able to prove that he can do anything an ordinary pet can do? In the second book, Shoe Fly Guy, Fly Guy decides to go on the adventure all on his own. However, when he returns, he discovers that Buzz and his family went on a picnic to the park. While searching for the family, Fly Guy comes across all these different types of food that he tries to eat. The problem is he gets chased away by a lot of other people and animals because it's their food. But will Fly Guy eventually be able to eat his meal? And will he be able to find Buzz? Now this was overall a very fun series to read. It's very simplistic and very easy to follow and young children will enjoy the illustrations. And I especially liked how in this book, Shoe Fly Guy, some of the words even were written in a way that turned into a path that Fly Guy was traveling, or how he was flying. Now overall, I rate this series 5 out of 5 stars, and I recommend it to children in the early elementary grades. Thank you very much for joining me today. I will see you next week.